Hello, it's Alex from European Coffee Tube and I would like to share a story of our first coffee with you. You probably have this coffee box in front of you and that makes me extremely excited. Not only because you get to drink this special coffee, but because we can share its story with you. We captured every step of the process, from seed to cup, in a short film. Please enjoy watching it and enjoy your coffee as well. All started in Brazil in June 2017. Radek visited the Datura coffee farm with our partners from DR Breakfield. It was a last minute trip, so he went there with zero expectations, but came back overly excited. He tasted one of the best coffees in his life and it tasted nothing like traditional coffee from Brazil. So we just finished the cupping from the project Masterpieces and it was mind blowing. Really the best cupping I've ever had. He was mainly talking about their Masterpieces collection. It's the top 1% of their whole production. These microlots consist of special varieties, often not traditional in Brazil, and use experimental processing methods to play with the taste of coffee. We are at uh, Deterra's experimental processing facility. So this is where all their microlots and their crazy experiments that they produce every year get processed. So we said, this could be an exciting coffee for our first coffee project. First coffee produced under the European Coffee Trip brand. We asked Datara Coffee for a partnership and they said, yes, we are in. So this is how the journey began. Chapter number two, building a team. As you can imagine, we would not be able to do it alone. We had to bring talented and skilled partners on board in order to succeed. We started with logistics. Our long-term partners, DR Wakefield, are Datera's representatives in Europe. They ship and sell their coffee on a regular basis, what made our life easier. It was not very complicated to add four boxes of coffee into regularly shipped containers. We could also check and taste their coffee in their coffee lab in London. We needed somebody to roast our coffee. Our good friends Michal and Honza from Rebel Bean were our obvious choice. They started in about the same time as we did and we have seen them grow from literally one-man show to the professional roastery. Honza Spalek got our trust to be a roast master of this project. The most difficult was figuring out the coffee packaging. We wanted to develop something unique, something that hasn't been done before, something that would reflect the masterpieces aspect of coffee. We got a recommendation to Jakub Dovka from Prague-based Art Bureau Studio. He's a coffee guy himself. You can find an interview with him in a standard magazine issue too, and he worked on many coffee design projects before. During the process, we found out that we need to have an inner packaging, so our coffee gets to in the best possible conditions. We teamed up with Dutch Coffee Pack from Utrecht, who helped us with their coffee bags. Chapter number three, choosing the right coffee. Before any roaster decides to buy new coffee, he receives samples that are either already roasted or he needs to roast it himself. Then, based on the taste profile, price, quantity or other criteria, decides to make a purchase or not. We received several samples of green coffee from Brazil. Guys and roasted them in the Rebel Bean Roastery in Brno. We are at the Rebel Bean Roastery and we are uh, sample roasting five different coffees. First samples are roasted and just now putting it to the back. Uh, so it will take some rest and we can taste it tomorrow or in the following days. That's the plan. Right now we are in the Rebel Bean Roastery again. It's one day after the roasting of five samples from Datura Coffee. And today it's ready for cupping. So right now we have all the samples ready. We'll grind them and taste them. And the next step is to choose the coffee that we like the most. And it will be the coffee for our project. It was a strange feeling not tasting coffee from other roasters, but choosing coffee for ourselves. We got excited, but also very nervous. Do we really know what is good? Can we trust our taste buds? We got a guidance from Michal and Honza, we reviewed our notes, and eventually we chose the winner. Chapter 4, Aramosa Palp Raisin. From all the samples we received, we chose the Aramosa Palp Raisin. The Aramosa varietal is a crossbreed between Coffea Arabica and Coffea Racemosa. It's not yet a commercial available coffee varietal. It produces floral and fruity cup with roses, jasmine, redberries, grapes and plum. Pulp Raisin is a process where they pulp the overripe coffee cherries, the one that stays on a tree a little longer. Usually, 
ripe cherries get pulp and dry cherries become naturals, but they have an in-between process. The idea is really to combine the main features of naturals, sweetness, body, fruitiness, with the complexity and acidity of pulp process. Chapter number five, from Brazil to London and Brno. So another complicated task when it comes to the coffee chain is logistics. Our coffee has to travel all the way from Brazil to Europe and because the Czech Republic is a landlocked country, it had to change the means of transportation many times. Luckily for us, all our partners were able to sort it out without much of our assistance. Datera added our microload packed in pentaboxes into shipping container that directly goes to the GR rake field. They store the boxes in their warehouse near London. Boxes were then loaded to the truck and delivered directly to the Rebel Bean Roastery in Brno. It was smooth and easy, yet if we need to arrange it ourselves, we would be clueless. Chapter 6. Packaging Design So we knew our coffee, but we had no idea how to pack it and ship it to you. So there were our thoughts and requirements. We have 200 grams of coffee per box. It is a limited edition with a small number of units made. Packaging is beautiful enough, so people put it on a display, don't throw it away. Nothing like it had ever been done before. Luckily, Jakub Dovka and his team at Arbiro had a perfect idea how to make it happen. When they introduced the idea and showed us the prototypes, we got sold. These are the prototypes that we brought from Arbiro in Prague. They are in three different colors, three different papers and three different shapes, also different kind of artwork. And uh, we chose the one that most reflected the taste of the coffee. So it's the one we have, it was uh, option number six. Basically, they got inspired by the Masterpieces collection and they wanted to turn the packaging into that piece of art that you put on the wall. There were so many small details we loved. Paper is 270 grams, curious collection matter in color of Adiron blue. There is a screen print on the outside packaging of the box. The artwork on the front cover of the packaging and we hot stamp our refresh logo inside of the box. The only downside we can think of is that it was very expensive to manufacture. Chapter number seven, coffee profiling and production roast. So the next step was to turn green coffee brown. It sounds simple, but it is a complicated process. The first task is to find the right roast profile. The roaster evaluates the size and density of the bean. Based on their previous experience, he creates a starting profile. It basically defines the heat and the flow inside of the roasting drum and its timing. Once we had the first batch of our coffee roasted, we evaluated the samples and then decided what we needed to change. We decided to emphasize the aroma and acidity that required to shorten the roasting time and decrease of the airflow inside of the drum. So the coffee you are tasting right now was roasted on a 15 kilo Giesen roasting machine in five kilo batches. We finish roasting time in 1 minute 35 seconds after the first crack. Then coffee was cooled down and it waited for sorting. The interesting characteristics of this coffee is that it stays fresh really long. We found out that it reached its peak even a month after roasting. Chapter 8. Packing and shipping it to you. So once we had it all prepared, we spent many hours by weighing the coffee, filling and sealing the bags, and completing the whole coffee box for you. We can only hope that you will enjoy it as much as we enjoy the process of making it.